Good afternoon, everybody. It is Sunday, the 1st of May. Happy May Day. Um, welcome back to my channel. Um, I hope you missed me. Today, I'm going to be doing the vegetarian tag. And I found a load of questions on YouTube. It's a thing that is very new to me. I've only been vegetarian for six months, but it's something I've become extremely passionate about. And I just wanted to answer some questions for you. So I hope you enjoy this video and let's get started. Why did you decide to give up meat? I honestly don't know. I'm, I think it's because I watched this um, documentary on YouTube called Earthlings. Um, and it sickened me. I like even thinking about it now is making me feel a little bit ill. Um, but basically something just triggered my brain and said, don't eat meat. Um, and yeah, that's, that's, that's basically it. There was no specific reason. It was just, I woke up one morning and I was a vegetarian. What was my diet like before that? Um, pretty much the same, just with meat. Um, so, you know, anything I make now, I probably used to put chicken in, but now I just don't put chicken in. How do you feel about the traditional arguments for ve um, vegetarianism, especially compassion for animals? It's just like, in my head now, I'm like, I would never eat my cat. So why would I eat the sheep? We are omnivores, we are meant to eat meat, but I think it's my conscience that says you shouldn't eat another living creature. And now, like, the thought in my head now of eating a dead animal is gross. I, I, I've, I've, I've eaten animals my whole life. It's just, like, this l genuine change of the way I think about it, and that's all it is. But it can't have been all sunshine and rainbows. What was the worst thing about becoming a vegetarian? Honestly, and I'm not even lying, like, <laughs> there is no bad thing about being a vegetarian. I, I do not miss meat whatsoever. But I mean, I like corn. So if I, if I want to make a lasagna, I'll use corn mince. I really like corn sausages. So I like having that with mashed potatoes and vegetables and gravy. You know, it's, uh, there are plenty of things that I like more than meat. And, you know, there are plenty of good things that substitute meat that kind of taste like meat, but they're not dead animal. Surely you must get upset when people question your beliefs. Uh, I don't know. I don't get upset at all. Um, it's it, it's a pr pretty normal thing for people to say, but Alice, why are you a vegetarian? And I tell them exactly what I just told you in that I just don't like the thought of eating meat anymore. Um, so no, I don't get upset at all. Um, I would get upset if people like started hating on me for not eating meat, but nobody ever does hate on me. So that's fine. Do you think everyone should give up meat? Not at all. I am not one of those people who are like, this is what I believe, therefore you should believe it too. Um, and I will hate you if you don't. That's how wars start, people. I would highly recommend it, um, from a personal point of view, because I really like being vegetarian. And I've actually become much more, kind of, uh, creative in my cooking. What was it like going vegetarian? Very easy. You just don't eat meat. Have you found many vegetarian friendly restaurants around London? Uh, actually I haven't really, um, though I went to Brighton the other day with my friend and there were so many vegetarian and vegan restaurants, it was unreal, and there was even a vegetarian shoe shop. I mean, come on now, that was amazing. Um, but in London I haven't really looked, oh yeah, uh, no there is one in Camden, um, that I found, but we didn't go in there because my friend's not vegetarian, she didn't really want to, um, which is fine. Uh, but yeah, I, I haven't really looked because everywhere I go has a kind of pretty, pretty good vegetarian menu, so I don't really feel the need to. Where do you get your protein? This is a good question. So, um, like I said, I eat, um, I eat corn, um, substitute, which is a protein substitute. I do take, um, Floridix, which isn't a protein supplement, but it does replace iron and B12, which is missing from uh, the, the not eat meat, meat eating. Um, I eat a lot of beans and pulses. 
Um, I eat a lot of cheese, which has a lot of protein in it. So I'm I'm fine. I'm I'm getting I'm getting enough nutrients, guys. Don't worry. Do not worry. What advice would you give to someone who was about to make the switch to vegetarianism? I would say um, buy a vegetarian cookbook because vegetarian cooking is so much fun. Like you, you discover so many things that you didn't even know existed. I still hate mushrooms, but you know, some things never change. If you're not careful, you, your diet can get a bit kind of pasta, 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 which is like how it was for me at the beginning. But once you've kind of like found what spices go together, um, then it, it's easy because then you can like make loads of really cool like different um, types of cuisine. So that's that's what I would recommend. So yeah, recipe book, spices, and just like really have fun with it and you know spread the word. Like not not like spreading the gospel. Do you know what I mean? But you know, kind of recommend it to people. Don't force them into it, but recommend it. It's it's um it's a good thing. Aren't plants living things too? Why are you okay with eating them but not with eating animals? This is such a stupid question and I get asked this all the time. My friends are like, but I think they're joking, but they're like, oh but plants are living things and I'm like, yeah but they don't have brains and they probably don't have feelings and if they do I'm really sorry but I need to eat you. That was the vegetarian tag. I hope it helped you in some way. Um, I personally don't plan on eating meat again anytime soon, and unless my mindset changes again, because it was literally just that. Bam. You are vegetarian. And I'm okay with that. So yeah. Um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and comment if you'd like to. Please subscribe to my channel as well if you'd like to, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.